What's up, you guys? Your man Joe came around just a phone that you need to know. So today that we're going to be getting into the discussion of head covering. I hear that this is very much of a controversial uh, subject. Um, yeah, so uh, let's hope that we'll get by any means to this. Not me. My only through Christ Jesus and the Holy Spirit. Um, my Abba Father. Um, Let's go. To, we're not just only going to touch on female covering, but also uh, male covering as well. Um, I'll be thinking, Joe, that there's no such thing as male covering. I know. Um, maybe not male covering. I'm sorry. It's early in the morning. And um, but anyway, but, uh, anyway, so let's get into this. Uh, let's go to the book of First Corinthians chapter 11. Um, let me give you guys a minute. All right. Um, uh, be ye followers of me, even as I, I also am of Christ. Now I praise you, brethren, that you remember that ye remember me in all things. And keep the ordinance as I deliver them to you. Uh, but I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ, and the head of the woman is the man, and the head of Christ is God. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonored his head. But every woman that pray or prophesy with her head uncovered dishonored her head. Uh, for the for that sorry for that is even all one as if she were shaven. For if a woman be not covered, let her also let her also be shorn. But if she be shamed for a woman to be to be shorn or shaven, let her be covered. For a man indeed ought not to cover his head, for as much as he is in the image and glory of God, but the women is the glory of man. For for the man or for the man is not of the woman, but the woman of the man. Neither was the man created for the woman, but the woman for the man. Uh, for this cause, sorry, for this cause ought the women have power over her head because of the angels. Nevertheless, neither is man without the woman, and neither the woman without the man in the Lord. For as the Sorry, for as the women is of the man, even so, even so is the, sorry, even so is the man also by the woman. But all thing, but all things of God. Judge in yourselves. Is it calmly to is or is it calmly that a woman pray unto God uncovered? Doeth not even nature teach it sorry do it sorry <laughs> do not even nature itself teach you that if a man uh, have long hair it is a shameful unto him but if a woman have long hair it is it is a glory to her for her uh, for her hair is given her for a covering but if any man seems contentious, we uh, we have not such customs, neither the churches of God. Um. Okay, so we're gonna get onto the part about the uh, prophets uh, giving onto prophesying. Let's go back to the. Uh,
Now I could be I could be wrong. But because it seems like I don't know if it talks about for the uh, married women, but I believe it's also for single women as well. Um and men too. Um but as far as uh let's 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 go back. Let's go back a little bit. So we're gonna go to verse four of chapter eleven. Um every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonor dishonor his head. I believe that if you have given dreams or visions, as as far as for men, if you are given dreams or visions and you still have your head covered or you have your if you have like a hat on or something like that, I believe it probably uh uh probably given some dishonor for him I, not just in the physical realm but i do believe in the spiritual realm as well so i would like to encourage men to if you are giving dreams and visions and prophesying um by god uh any of you if you are covering uh your head uh please be aware that you know please take off your hat or your head or whatever that it is um when you give enough time but as far as um but I would go to the same for the women. Um, but every woman that prayeth, oh, sorry, this is verse five. But every woman that pray or prophesy um, with her head uncovered, dishonor her head, which is her husband or God, a uh, husband and God, for that, for that is even all one if she were shaven. I do believe. Um, I do see like a couple of times where I see women, especially uh, Christians in the face, Christian women in the face that do uh, speak of dreams and visions um, when they have their head covered. Um, I do believe that uh, when you have, you know, such a task um, such as this, I do believe that not just in the physical realm, but in the spiritual realm as well, that you are showing reference to God or showing respect to God when you do this. Now I've heard that um, that there's a women's movement that you know there's movements of, of women that are doing head covering. Um, I would say that don't do it just to do it for the movement or just even for the trend. I would do it just for the just for the respect for God Himself. Um, um, yeah. Because we, because we are both in His image, we are both in His image. I need to get on on. I need to ask him about the image part. Um, I guess. Well, I mean, as far as for the Im, uh, in the image, I think it's because we are in His image and in His likeness. So it, it probably means that we're probably more likely to be like Him. Is something that we don't fall into many things. But as far as for the, because I know that there's probably. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm going, I'm bouncing back and forth. Um, I think it's more of the images. I think it's more of probably his character, his image, probably more likely his characteristics. Um, I mean, you know, yeah, we are in his image and like how it is now, but I think it's, but I think it's also more, yeah, I sound like, I sound like a broken record, but it sounds like more of his characteristics and his personality. Um, yeah. And I do, and I do believe that that here, especially when it comes to head covering, there's a lot of dis there's a lot of get, uh, disagreements among young women. Um, I do, I would say that I would like to encourage women to have head covering, especially when they if they have like dreams and visions. Um, again, I do believe that it's not just only showing off in the physical, but also in the spiritual. Uh, and I do believe that it also has a lot of uh, for protection. Because uh, it did mention about the power over the angels, um, yeah, I guess this is like when you when you're praying and stuff like that. I guess when you're praying, again, I do believe uh, it show, I know, uh, it shows reference to God. So you saw, I know some of them might comment and might say, "Well, Joe, should you know, should women um, do it all the time, or do it every day?" Like I said, if you are a very prayerful person, um, uh, yeah, if you are a very prayer, uh, prayerful woman and if you're having a very close uh, uh, close connection with God and he's giving you these dreams and visions um, or many other spiritual gifts and you have your uh, and you 
and you have yourself covered, I do believe that you and it's I do believe that a head to protect uh, not head I mean uh head covering does give give off uh protection. It's because I remember just remember this one time when some of y'all already know that um when I was uh, when I had my fiance and I had and I asked her, you know, to get her get her head covered, you know, just cover her head. You know, she you know, at the time she didn't really had much until I told her to do that. I went to because I, I kinda guess I guess I was encouraging her to uh head cover. You know, do it all the time. You know, have try to have her do it all the time. Until when I did that, I guess the spirits just came out of nowhere telling me to tell her to get rid of, get rid of the, tell her to un, get rid of the head covering. I don't know why specifically, but it's probably have more protection, um, uh, for, for her. So I like to have more like revelation on this too. Um, now as far as for the men. No, I don't think men, when it comes to prayer, prophesying, giving visions, I don't think men should uh, have head coverings because it uh, dishonors his head, which dishonors Christ, and we don't want to dishonor Christ and God because uh, that would be bad. Um, yeah. But um, I, guess, I guess I can just read a little bit more of this. Um... But let me let me know what you guys think. So, ladies, are you interested in getting into head covering, uh, fellas? What are your thoughts on head cover head covering as well? Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'd like to know what you guys think. So, it's your man Joe and sisters. I encourage you to head cover, brothers. Uh, do not head cover when you're praying and prophesying, sisters. Pray, uh, pr uh, and don't uh, head cover while you're prayer in head covering. Um, yeah, I know some of y'all might say, well, Joe, you know, I don't want to do it. It might be, it's embarrassing. Hey, if Muslim women can walk around and, and their head covering and people don't care, then why should you? So, without further ado, it's your man Joe. See you guys in another video or so, okay? All right.